Ha! Who am I and what do I do? Yeah. Tell the people. The people. Uh, <laughs> my name is Nabil. That's an Arabic name. My last name is Vinyas. That's a Spanish name. Uh-huh. Uh, I do shit. I like walk on the high line with my boy and his camera. I do, I take pictures, I, I act in stuff. I started writing stuff. I'm basically a, a poor artist from New York. I've been here all my life. My parents came here from the Dominican Republic uh, when they were like teenagers, late teenagers. My father talks like the Spanish version of Van Damme and my mother doesn't talk. Gotcha. Uh, you know, went to a lot of different colleges and stuff, studied mathematics. I actually skipped eighth grade to go to high school. I was a good academic before I swore off schooling. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, what I really do is I'm an actor. That, that's what I'm, that's what I am. Right. Yeah. But I do whatever I want. Gotcha. I want to say what brought you to New York, but I really want to say what, what kept you here so far, so far. Uh, Probably my family, I, I felt, and fear, I guess, because I did have the impulse to, to leave. Yeah. I wanted to go, actually, I wanted to go to Europe, and I did, but it was for two weeks, and then I came back. Um, but I'm a city person. I've been here too long to, you know, I, I like to spend time outside of the city. That's always needed, but New York is everything. I don't want the sound to distort. Yeah, New, New York is, is, is everything. Everything is here. And uh, I don't know if I have ADD or if it's being, you know, from the city, but I need to be around just things, stuff going on. Okay. And all that. But um, I see myself staying in the city. Even if I was to relocate somewhere, I would come back. Oh, okay. So this is uh, home. Hmm. Yeah, there's no place like this. Even when I, was, I went to Villanova University. It was the first time I lived outside of New York for an extended period of time. Right. And that's when I realized that I was really a New Yorker. And that, you know, because I mean, if this is all I knew. So I, I always thought I was different from everyone else. And then once you take yourself out of that situation, you see what you had in common with those people that you didn't realize. Right. Sorry. It's okay. You were talking about uh, uh, ins uninspired work and, and, and stuff like that. There's, I hate that feeling too. It's, 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 uh, it's like poison. The second I feel like I'm doing something that's not inspired, I stop. Right. And um, one of the things I've discovered recently is, uh, and I think about your poetry book, I think about, you know, you, you, you took pictures, and I think about... Uh, other people who've done a lot, a range of different creative things, and um, yeah, I realize now that although I, I do have a focus and a, and a main thing that I want to make a career out of, I need to listen to myself and let myself indulge in anything creative that I am inspired to do, okay. because that's the only way I'm going to keep myself uh, 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 moving or, or burning, is, is if I listen to that, because... I got inspired to take photos and I started doing that. I got inspired to to write and I started doing that. And I'm glad that I'm doing those things because I feel I, I'm excited about the work that I'm doing there. But and, and there's also the the absence of the pressure of having to make a career out of it that makes it different. But it's good. It makes me appreciate when I do go back to acting. And uh, it kind of alleviates some of the pressure of it uh, and allows me to see it from a more objective place if I've already, you know, gone out and, 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 and thought about, you know, these other things. Right. Uh, yeah. I got some cool photos that I can show you. Cool. That I want to show you. 